that's miserable. It's just bad out here, and that tells you one thing, it's cross-country season. Um, and I've realized I've really not prepared for this. We just got back from Florida this morning, and I gotta find some stuff to run in, because it's gonna be a lot colder than Florida. Oh no. God. Okay, they're not going to do the trick. I mean, they might have to do the trick, but they're not going to do the trick. Uh oh. Mm. Look at the state of these. Years. Mold. Spikes whittled down to nothing. Well, that's years of abuse as well. There's only one thing for this. We're going to go and try and find some cross-country spikes or some cross-country shoes to buy. Luckily, look at this. Luckily, the kind children and parents at my last school bought me some vouchers to buy some trainers with and I managed to get some running trainers for the road and now, I'm going to see if I can get some off-road, cross-country type trainers because otherwise tomorrow I'm going to be all over the shop. It's exciting though, cross-country season is upon us. And the added bonus is that this is Mary's first ever cross-country fixture. I'm scared. <laughs> That's grim out there. So, trainers bought, had to get a new pair. Here they are. I bought some new Sorconis, um, despite the fact that the last ones that I had fell apart. Ripped along there, apparently that was a design fault more than it was the actual uh, the brand. So I'm gonna give them another go because these look quite good. Phase two, go and get ready for it, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> turned into not a bad morning but I'm not gonna oh look at that I'm not gonna lie to you this jet lag has slaughtered us we just had like 11 and a half hours sleep and I still feel groggy as but it is the morning of the run um, I've got a plan in place that means I can use the GoPro and take it with me and give you some commentary out there because it's not a flat course so there is going to be a lot of downhill relieving the pressure and allowing me to maybe catch my breath and talk to you so that's a that's an exciting thing isn't it uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have tea and breakfast how are you feeling before your cross-country fixture your first ever quite nervous are you yeah different style isn't it I guess yeah yeah I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to the experience it's exciting Cleaned up nice, cleaned up nice. There's so much to love about the cross-country season that we'll get to later, but for now, an explanation of the day and why I was so god-awful at getting in-race footage. So the way a race works is any number of clubs on the circuit race in the league, and you, along with many others, race for your club. The scoring system's quite complicated, but the racing is very painful. Often wet, slippy ground and plenty of hills, you feel like you are on your limit, hence the shockingly small amount of footage I got from the race. The choices were film and possibly pass out, or run and hold it together and then still possibly pass out. Vomiting on camera would not be a strong look. 
I was fortunate enough to have oh a good race, God. even with the jet lag, That's and disgusting. did score for the team. Yeah. Plus, I ran my fastest single kilometre in a race of 3.19, so it wasn't a bad day at the office. Mary scored for the team as well, and the club ended up overall winners of race one of six. But we loved it so much, we actually went back the next week and raced again at a different park. Classically, true to form, we haven't left ourselves enough time to do anything other than a quick run and I need to do a quick wee. Once again we ran pretty well but there was no filming happening as it just hurts too much at shorter distances. With hundreds of runners there and plenty of sunshine and really lovely supportive teammates we enjoyed race two immensely. The benefits of cross country are huge. Mary? Yeah? No. Like, what have you found since you've run in the cross country league? What do you like about it? Um, I like the fact that it's a team event and you're like trying to get points for your team so it's really motivating and it really pushes you to like take off another person from another club. Um, it's it's one of the it's one of not one of the only but it's it's one of the few events really that although running is a very individual sport and for a lot of the time maybe some of us we train individually and we race individually and we go and do a ten k here or a half marathon here cross country is that fantastic um, opportunity to race as a team and score points as a team and feel like you're part of something bigger than just you yeah. and, and it's nice like everyone encourages each other and like. When other, I mean, I could barely speak, but other people were like, go on Seven Oaks and kind of like other team members cheering you on as well. And the other great thing is that every single one of you count. You might not be the necessarily the top three or four or five that score for your team, but the fact is that every runner will be running and if you overtake someone who could potentially score from another team then yeah. you're knocking that team down and helping your team so everybody counts it's yeah. a real uh, group and team atmosphere uh, from the top to the bottom you have to have the strong runners but you have to have all runners so it is a fantastic event oh I'll see if I can move the camera it's not a bit light. the other good thing about running cross-country is that you um, you aren't pounding your legs just quite as much. We all know that road running and training on the road is quite aggressive on the body and what the cross country is good for is that it's a lot softer on the joints because often you're running on grass and mud. But also, you get the chance to um, train all the stabilizer muscles around the ankle, around the knee because it's, it's not level, is it? You've got mm. roots to run over, you've got slippery bits, you know your body is working that extra hard to, to stabilise you. Yeah, like I've done two now and I feel like that's been already really good for my like, body when I'm running. Mm. You know, if there's a cross country league near you, if there is an opportunity for you to go and do it, community wise, um, body wise. It's super friendly. It's super friendly and it's competitive and it is, uh, it's a great thing to do and I, we would thoroughly recommend it having done yeah. two so far. I've done a few in the past but this season we're both doing it which is also quite nice to, to, to do it together because I used to just go on my own run and leave. So it feels nice. Sorry that I'm eating an apple. I'm um, doing a vlog about me being off sugar for a month and I am just constantly ravenous so I have to do this while I'm talking otherwise I'm going to get hangry. There you have it. Get yourself off road this winter, get yourself into a cross country league, build a community, build a stronger body, build a better you. See you Tuesday.